welcome back to Soapography. She's second generation soap opera royalty. Fashion star Liza Huber's life story reads almost like a Hollywood script. The fairy tale began young. Born to soap icon Susan Lucci and Austrian restaurateur Helmut Huber, the little girl with the already famous mom somehow managed to have a rather normal childhood. No matter how hectic life became for Erica, Susan always made time for little Liza, enjoying things that living the quiet life in the suburbs allowed. It should come as no surprise that early on in life, Liza was bitten by the acting bug. I think I was five years old when our house was being painted, and I called all the painters in and did my little dance number for them. Liza followed her dream, moving to New York to study acting at several prestigious schools, and by age 24 was a classically trained actress. In 1998, she landed the role of Gwen on the new drama, Passions. But did her name alone get her the job? Keep watching. We're going to entertain you. Of course, the doors are open for you. You can get the auditions, you can get the meetings. But once you're footed in the door, you are just combed over ten times harder. If you have an off day or an off audition, it just doesn't go by the wayside. I mean, word kind of flies. And then on the other side of the coin, if you're great, you know, people say, but you really need to prove yourself. Liza survived the scrutiny. As Gwen Hotchkiss, the unstable girlfriend of a multimillionaire, she quickly became a fan favorite. But just 16 months later, Liza made a stunning announcement. She was quitting, leaving fame, fortune, and her lifelong dream behind. When I decided to leave, I actually decided to put my career on hold for a little while and go back to New York and be with my fiancé. I followed my heart at the time. In the long run, we wound up not getting married. A heartbroken Liza went back to Los Angeles. No job, no love of her life. She faced the prospect of starting over. But then... In a turn that rivals any soap script, Passion's casting director asked her to return. I was thrilled at the opportunity because I was so sorry that I had left. In 2000, Liza came back, reprising her old role as Gwen. Recently, Liza revealed what it was really like to call Erica Kane mom. Her star was already rising when I was born, so... From day one, my mother's always been on television, but, but number two, and most importantly, she baked the cookies and went to the meetings and drove us to school and did everything she could and was always Mrs. Huber and was a mom first. And uh, she's really a great mom and she's my best friend. To become your favorite soap opera, all of the characters on the show have to come together like a family. That's right. And like all moms, Susan Lucci has her charming quirks. She will call me three times a day and leave me messages and say, Hi, Liza, it's Mommy calling. You can reach me at... And then gives me, you know, the home number that I grew up with. Give me a call back. Uh, my number is 555. But, Mom, you know, I know, I know my own home number. Should I know? I know you do, sweetheart, but what if you get hit over the head? Or you... <laughs> You couldn't remember your number. Just here you would have it. And I and we joke about it now. And uh, now when she calls, she tries so hard. She's like, hi, it's Mommy. You know where to reach me. <laughs> but as close as these two are, the relationship does have limits. Watching my mother do love scenes was something I could never do. It's kind of like watching, I don't know, when you're young and you see your parents kiss, you're like, oh, gross. Now a star in her own right, Liza's busy acting out her own on-screen passions. At first I thought, oh my goodness, this is going to be just emotional torture. Her first time was with former co-star Travis Schult, also a sex scene virgin. What was nice was Travis and I, you know, were the same age. He hadn't done an on, you know, an on-screen love scene either. So we talked about it. We made sure we knew our lines because we knew we'd be nervous about it. We had known each other for about three days, and our first scene was on the beach, making out in our little nudie outfits. It's something that neither one of us will ever forget that day. It was a thousand degrees on the beach in Oxnard. We were 
sunburned to death, and it was hysterical. We had a really good time. There was a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress going on there, and after that, I'm like, okay, me taking off my clothes is not that big of a deal anymore. <laughs> and now at this point, it's like, okay, another one, another one, another one. Fashion! <laughs> Lies is definitely one of Soap's most beautiful women and a favorite of male fans. Some get a little carried away, like one guy. He wrote me a couple times. I think you're pretty, whatever, you're talented, whatever, a couple times. And about the fourth letter, it was six pages long. And he said how he was moving to L.A. and he wanted to meet me and about these back rubs he was going to give me and he could love me like no other man. I'm thinking, oh my God, I hope he doesn't show up here. He didn't, but luckily Alex Hesterberg did. The pair met in the third grade, reunited years later, and after a whirlwind romance, married in the spring of 2004. Their wedding in Garden City, New York, the Long Island suburb where Liza grew up, was the event of the season. The ceremony was held at St. Joseph's Roman Catholic Church, next door to that very same elementary school they both attended. As the music played, the father of the bride took her for a graceful spin across the dance floor. And later, Helmut did the same with the mother of the bride. From her career, to her family, to her personal life, it's clear Liza Huber has learned to do things her way. This time, everything is on my own terms, my choices. Everything came full circle, and I feel so blessed. That makes Liza very happy, and her famous mom very proud. Liza Huber was born in the spotlight that was shining brightly on her famous mother to emerge into her own, starring in a role that is all her own.